Uh, welcome back friends. Uh, in this uh, video we are going to talk about a very interesting uh, way of gene shuffling between bacteria using transposons. Now uh, as we know transposition means uh, we are having a DNA sequence onto somewhere in, in the chromosome of bacteria and we can cleave that DNA up out from it and paste it somewhere else. We can copy that DNA out from it and we can paste it somewhere else on the same bacterial cell or sometimes between different species of bacteria or sometimes the, uh, the same species, species members of bacteria. Now in this case what we are looking, we are looking at uh, the chromosome of the same bacteria, so it's a single bacteria. Now what this bacterial cell will do, they uh, make a way of um, uh, shuffling their genes because as you can see in this case, uh, if we stretch out this chromosome, what we'll find, we'll find A, then B, then C, then D, then E. This is the way of the arrangement, A, B, C, D, E in this direction, from A to E. And this is the direction of the genes. Now this is uh, signify, uh, this is drawn in this way, this is uh, illustrated in this way, in this picture, right? Uh, so from here, this is the A, this is the E, so this is how, that is how it is it has been painted right okay now in this case uh, what will be seen will be seen the process of shuffling this a b c d e genes or uh, the position of a b c d e genes now if there are different way of shuffling it suppose you need to shuffle this b cut the b and paste it somewhere else uh, next right next to e or cut the d paste it right next to a so it will be very very tedious and it will be very very energy consuming and very damaging process too so the cell produce a, a very very fine technique to go uh, through all these things. Now we, we can notice in this case that in between the gene A and B there is a stretch of DNA which is the transposon and we, where the transposon lies for this bacterial cell and the transposon is not the single type of transposon it is the composite transposons. How can we say this? Because we have seen previously that when the transposon is carrying uh, extra gene irrespective of having the simple transposes enzyme encoding region uh, we call them the composite transposons that means with this transposon it is having two insertion sequences and also one uh, gene and in one uh, evolutionary advantage GS gene in this case the gene is tetracycline resistant gene and uh, this part of the segment is incorporated in between A and B structural gene of that bacterial chromosome. Now what we will see in this case is the process of make shuffling all this DNA and how it can do this. Now let us think it starts to uh, make a fold or stem uh, like structure in between this A and B where the transposon lies. Now right after making this kind of structure it start to cleave some region of the DNA with the help of transposes enzyme. Remember this transposon can encode for transposes so it's try to, it, trying, it is trying to make the transposes enzyme and this transposes enzyme start to cleave these two regions where uh, it is denoted with Roman 1 and Roman 2 uh, it is being cleaved. Right after the cleavage what happened this part of the section or the tetracycline resistant gene part is lost completely and in the other hand they start to encode a different nucleases and those nucleases again start to cleave in this 1 and 2 regions again in this case in the uh, in between the E and D so at the same time what they are doing they are cleaving uh, Roman 1, Roman 2 site as well as 1 and 1, 2 site, uh, 1 and 1, 2 site in between E and D, Roman 1 and Roman 1, 2, uh, Roman 2 site and in between A and B, right? So right after this both kind of cleavage, what they end up with making a segment like this. Now this time, the whole genomic DNA is, is just break apart because they are cleaving all these things. This is the first thing and the second loss is that they lost this tetracycline resistant gene that's another case so this is the case in this case right now right after this cleavage this this lost is permanent because they cannot revive tetracycline resistant in this case too because it's a very short segment of dna it, it will be lost inside the cell so it it, it will can it cannot be incorporated again during this process most of the time right so the tetracycline resistant gene is destroyed that is the fate this is the very bad thing but uh, let us see what ha what it uh, does in the future steps now in the future steps it it need to join this dna segment because otherwise the whole chromosomal dna will fall apart and the bacteria will die so it needs to join this and reseal it and it can reseal it by two different ways one it can reseal via the process of this that this roman i will pair uh, will make a pair with uh, one roman 2 will make a pair with two 
this is the process of making the uh, seal this is the first type of seal if it make this kind of seal what will they produce they produce a circular region which carries only b c and d uh, sequence and it will be exclude uh, it will be excluded from the a and e uh, gene sequences so the part of a and e is excluded and another circular dna inside the cell which is containing only b c and d is formed now you can make a question that why bacterial cell will try to delete its own DNA sequence now there will be many questions for example in harsh environments when the, the cell needs to have a very very short part of the DNA segment very very thin or very very small part of the DNA segment not the huge part so the cell try to think that they must cleave away some of its chromosome or the chop away some of the chromosomal element which is functionless normally in prokaryote cell there are uh, not such elements which are functionless because in eukaryotic cell you can find almost 96 or 97 percent of those uh, junk DNAs but in prokaryotes they are made up with all uh, the functional gene elements but still uh, they, if, if they think that it will it will make a trouble for them to live on in those harsh environments, they can cleave this part away. They can delete few part uh, from their gene. Not only that, uh, but another case can also arise. For example, any mutation in gene A and gene E. Just think about that. This mutation, they they just signify. They just look at this mutation, and a cell can identify this mutation. They say, yes, we have a mutation at the position A or at the position E that can make our cell lethal. That can make our cell much more vulnerable to heat so let's delete these two genes because these two genes uh, if we delete these two genes we can have some problem of uptaking lactose but it's fine but still we can take uptake glucose but uh, due to the presence of this gene uh, if uh, a small heat can damage our cell it will be meaningless right so they in those conditions they will decide to delete some part of its gene sequence and they can do this via this mechanism so this is uh, how we can justify this kind of mechanism and the second thing they may also try to produce a new operon system and the system must be consisting of the genes uh, what they needed that's why they try to separate this small segment of gene in the circular DNA here okay that's that will be another justification okay whatever they are doing but they are doing this part of things and this is the first type of ligase we have talked about now if we think about the second type of ligation it can also be ligation possible between one uh, Roman 1 and uh, caps uh, Roman 1 and 2 and 1 and Roman 2. So this cross type of ligation also be possible. Now if there is uh, this kind of cross ligation happens then uh, the gene shuffling is noticed. Now right after this cross shuffling what we can find is something like that. You can find this kind of joining. So this is uh, the result of this cross shuffling and what we produce is this. Now in this case the gene, look at the gene arrangement. It is arranged like A, D, C, B, E. But in previous time it was A, B, C, D, E. In the second time it is A, D, C, B, E. So at the end what we can find there is this inversion of genes, inversion of B, C, D genes. So this segment of the DNA was inverted 180 degree in the previous time but in this case this segment of the DNA is totally reversed or inverted so this inversion or the gene inversion can also be possible with the help of this uh, transposition in between uh, bacteria's own chromosomal DNA so that is a very very important tool for them to rearrange its own genetic element due to its needs right so that is a very very important part okay so I hope it will help you to understand the process thank you